Hello friends, welcome back to with Plum. So today we are going to discuss about block diagram reduction. So this is the very most important topic in engineering subjects that is control systems. So by using uh, this block diagram reduction, we can find the transfer function of the system. Firstly, to find the transfer function, we should definitely follow some rules. So these are the basic rules that we need to follow. Rule one is combining the blocks in cascade means there are two different blocks we want to cascade it then we will get multiplication of those two that is g1 into g2 and the rule 2 is combining the blocks in parallel uh, say this is g1 g2 these are the two blocks which are in parallel and we have to combine these two blocks so we're combining it with forward path then we'll get this two g1 plus g2 right and at the output side, we'll get A into G1 plus G2. And this is the third rule. Moving the branch point ahead the block means after the block. Uh, say we have G1. We have A. This we have to move ahead of the block. We'll get as 1 by G1. Right? And it does not affect the overall output of the system. Right? This is the rule for moving the branch point before the block. Earlier we have seen that after the block. Here before the block. Here it is already after the block. We have to move forward. This is how it happens. Okay. It just comes before the block. We will get as, as it is. G1. Earlier it was 1 by G1. Now it is G1 itself. We will get the output as A G1. Earlier we got only a here we'll get a g1 right rule 5 moving the summing point ahead means after the block here this is called a summing point this we have to move after the block right then we get this g1 this g1 will get for a as well as b then this summing point will get move forward then we get output as same itself Next rule 6. Moving the summing point before the block. Earlier we have seen after the block. Now it is before the block. Now it is the summing point we have to move forward. Means we will get already we have g1 to a. Now b will get 1 by g1. We don't get anything for a. Okay. So the output will be same as that. a g1 plus b. Right? Next to rule 7. Interchanging the summing points. We'll get means these are the summing points. B and C are called summing points. We have to interchange these two points. B and C. When, uh, when we are interchanging these two points. The sign change will not occur. Only the points will be interchanged. Okay. Next to rule 8. Splitting the summing point. Here. We have combined the summing point, right? We have to split it. Then what we get? This C, C point will be separated. Means we will get another summing point, right? The sign will not change. Then next rule 9, combining the summing point. Just now we have seen the splitting, right? That is given and we have to combine it. Means we have two summing points, right? We have to combine it. Just add this here. Nothing else we can do. Okay. Next rule 10. Elimination of the negative feedback loop. Negative feedback loop is nothing but feeding the output to the negative sign. Right. So this is what we get. While we eliminate the negative feedback, we have to write this. So this is how it came. So here we have this right. This into G will give C. We just comparing this two. Uh, after solving, we'll get C by R as G by 1 plus G H. So this is what we write for negative feedback loop. And for the elimination of the positive feedback loop, that is the 11th rule. Means here we have positive sign, right? Then it becomes positive feedback loop. Here we just have to change this minus sign. Here we have 1 plus G H, right? In the negative feedback, 
we have to write 1 minus gh in the positive feedback loop when we are eliminating it done so let's solve a question for better understanding of how we can reduce the block diagram so this is the given question that we are going to solve now and we have to find c by r which is nothing but transfer function of the given system right so for solving this first step uh, we have to see how we can reduce like what are the initial steps to be taken you can follow another steps also but in my view i'm taking this this is the branching point right i'm just moving forward here then i get like this when i move the branching point from here to here uh, as we discussed in the rules it will become 1 by g1 okay and we can see this two blocks are in series uh, guess what we do for this two blocks pass for a second and guess the answer okay yes you're right we are going to cascade those two blocks then we'll get g3 by g1 so that is the step two cascading done next what can we see we can see that these two blocks are in parallel right what do we do if two blocks are parallel yes you are right we have to add these two blocks step three two blocks are in parallel so we have added those two blocks g2 plus g3 by g1 done next what we can see here it is a negative feedback right uh, and we have to eliminate it what is the formula that is required for eliminating the ne negative feedback yes g by 1 plus g h next step 4 is elimination of negative feedback i just applied the formula this is the thing next what can we see here yes two blocks are here then we have to cascade it that is the final step yes i have just combined it and i solved it what what i get is c by r means the transfer function is c by r equals to multiply it this g1 and g1 will get cancelled then i'll get g1 g2 plus g3 by 1 plus gh so this is the transfer function that i require okay so take the first problem as reference and try to solve this problem and get the output in the next video i will explain clearly the solution of this problem for getting the solution of this problem in the next video you have to subscribe to witplum thank you